What's the word, son? This week on Thug Notes, we getting regicidal with Macbeth by William Shakespeare. After making a bitch out of their enemies, the king's fresh generals, Macbeth and Banquo, hit up three witches who start laying down some cold prophecy. Them witches say one day, Macbeth gonna rock the crown as king, and Banquo's blood also gonna be rolling on royal doves one day. Macbeth all geeked up about being big baller, but his woman Lady Macbeth be all like, why you wasting time, playboy? You best get off your lazy white ass and take that shit. So Lady McBee convinces McBeezy to shank King Duncan while he catches some Z's and lay the blame on his two chamberlains while they passed out from sipping too much drink. Macbeth straight tripping after doing the deed. So his woman steps up and puts the bloody knife on the chamberlains as evidence. When some fool Macduff finds the king's dead body, Macbeth murks them chamberlains so they can't dodge the heat. All paranoid that somebody gonna ice them too, Duncan's sons Malcolm and Donald Bang roll out of town. With them punks out of the way, Macbeth becomes the king. Since the witches done said Banquo's blood gonna be kings one day, Macbeth starts bugging and sends a couple of hoods to gat Banquo and his boy Fleance. Banquo gets wrecked, but Fleance ducks these fools. Later, Macbeth hollers at the three witches who lay down some new prophecy. First, an armored head tell him he best watch his boy Macduff. Then, a bloody child tell him that nobody born of a woman can touch him. Last, a crown child holding a tree tells him he's solid till great burnham trees roll up to the castle. Word comes that Macduff done roll out to England, so Macbeth gets ice cold and kills his whole family. Damn. Later Macbeth learns that his woman done iced herself cause she couldn't get the blood off her hands. At first, Macbeth ain't sweating the fact that Malcolm's returned and got a swole army creeping up to the castle. But then he realizes the shields the army using are from the same wood the witches warned him about. Oh f Since Macduff heard that his family and castle got smoked, he wanna go toe to toe with Macbeth. On the battlefield, Macbeth says, Macduff, get off these nuts. You were born of a woman, can't touch this. Turns out, Macduff's mama had a C-section when he was born, so Macduff wipes that nasty smile off his mug and beheads this fool. Then Malcolm takes back his throne, and Scotland got one less tyrant. This play right here is a classical tragedy about a once righteous brother who balls till he falls, and it's an unchecked ambition and lust for power that makes him his own antagonist. But is Macbeth really the only one to blame for having such a bootleg fate? Cause on the real, it was Lady Macbeth who put a fire under his ass to murk the king. And you can even blame them witches for feeding his ambition and giving him a big old head. And Scottish society got to ride the beef too. Back then the main rap was you ain't gotta pay unless you grab all the power you can, no matter who you gotta kill for it. So if you wanna say Macbeth got served cause of all the people he shanked, you best recognize he was getting mad props for butchering his enemies at the beginning of the play. In fact, some literary thugs say that Macbeth ain't to blame at all but that fate slinging him around like a puppet, making him act like a serious fool. Just listen to how he talks about life after his woman dies. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Cause if Macbeth ain't got no choice, then all this shit is straight meaningless. Since fate, society, and Macbeth's big ass head laying more pressure on him than he can handle, Shakespeare dropping images of clothes that don't fit good to show how this player living way out of his depth. Now he does feel his title hang loose about him, like a giant's robe upon a dwarfish thief. New honors come upon him, like our strange garments cleave not to their mold, but with the aid of use. Hey, y'all know how to make a player feel love, man. So spread the love and tell your friends. Peace.